My favorite features of Google Ads is the ability to use remarketing audiences. So in order to do this, you want to go to Tools and Settings, Shared Library, Audience Manager, and it will automatically bring you to some data segments. And what we want to do here is create remarketing lists out of people who have visited specific pages on our site. So in this case, I created some audiences just automatically, um, or not automatically, but to pre-populate for us. Um, but basically, you here we have like reached free trial page. Let's see, let's create a new one. So visited cart 30 days. So that is people who visited the cart page in the last 30 days. So here we go, audience manager, add new website visitors and here let's call this um, visited the free trial page in the last 120 days you can do any of these um, visited free trial up to 540 days um, so 90 days and one thing I like to do is I like to um, create multiple audiences and for some reason it says no cookies so I'm gonna look into this but this is how you do this and you can say you know visited this page or that page for example I work with a probably 3,000 page website that they run a lot of content about e-commerce and sometimes they spell it e-commerce and sometimes they spell it e-commerce and so I'll create a page URL contains e-dash or e-commerce in the insights section of their website. So you can play with this, you can do the or, or you can do the and to do things like they visited the free trial page and then they visited the add to cart page. Um, but they, you know, anything like that. Automatically, things are pre-filled with the past 30 days, uh, or you can uh, start with an empty segment, and then you can say 90 days here. Another trick I like to use is, I'll, is I will, let's just say I'll create a zero to 30 days, and then I will send them particular ads, like testimonials or something like that, and then after they've exited that 30 days so like on page on days 31 through 90 I'll send them a different kind of ad um, and that just allows you to have more control over your audience and once you create that segment the way that you would do that is you would actually um, create a custom segment that is you know I did they did this or didn't do that or actually sorry it's a combined segment um, where you know they you see did this but did not purchase for example so hopefully that's helpful thanks